Lane two, Latvia. Lane three, France. Lane four, New Zealand. Lane five, Poland. Lane six, Italia. Lane seven, Canada. Lane eight, USA. And lane nine, India. The girls are off. The women are on the water here. And it looks like a fantastic first start to this race. We've got a huge depth of talent in this field. And some surprising new faces out of New Zealand. Lane four, uh, we have Danielle uh, McKenzie joining Rio Olympian Amy Fisher. Danielle has been uh, in sprint canoe for exactly four months, uh, coming from the ocean ski racing uh, with uh, multiple titles and an Ironman to her name as well. So welcome, uh, Danielle. We'll also keep an eye on the team from Canada as well. Courtney Swat, Madeline Schmidt. Uh, they have, uh, uh, Madeline has a father, uh, Kevin, and a brother, Jeremy, who both represented Team Canada on the world stage. Ja, und wir schauen mal rein, was jetzt auf den letzten 200 Metern passiert, denn auch die sind hier pfeilschnell und wir sehen auf der Bahn Nummer 5 die beiden Polinnen Klatt und Wisniewska, das sind diejenigen, die sich schon in Seged in hervorragender Form gezeigt haben. Zweite beim Weltcup und jetzt hier Führende im ersten Vorlauf. Six through Poland leading the charge here. France right on their heels, looking so comfortable. Definitely sewing this up. New Zealand right between the two of them, starting to drive forward. New Zealand starting to catch Poland. Poland barely holding on to their lead. France challenging as well for a second. Poland coming through the line. It will be Poland, New Zealand, Italy making a sprint as well. Canada too. That is one, two, three, four, five across sixth place, being nabbed by lane one, Uzbekistan. So that, again, will be France, New Zealand, Poland, and Italy, Canada, and Uzbekistan for sure through to the semifinal with the top three seventh place positions uh, having to battle it out, hoping to get through as well. Ja, das war was fürs Auge, oder? Ein volles Feld, was hier so einen Speed drauf hat, unfassbar. Drei Boote noch auf der Ziellinie, so als wären sie gerade erst gestartet. Das ist wirklich ganz großes Tennis, was wir hier sehen. Wahnsinn. 1,41,671. Das ist die Referenz-Siegerzeit für die folgenden Läufe, gesetzt von den beiden Polinnen. Und jetzt orientieren sich natürlich alle Siebtplatzierten an den 1,6.